Hello. So we have now come to solve the all unit quantity discounts problem in cycle inventory. So let's read the problem first. Wellness Forever is an online retailer of prescription drugs and health supplements. Vitamins represent a significant percentage of its sales. Demand for vitamins is 10,000 bottles per month. Wellness incurs a fixed order placement transportation receiving cost of $100 each time an order for vitamins is placed with the manufacturer. It incurs a holding cost of 20%. The manufacturer uses the following all unit all unit discount pricing schedule we have to evaluate the number of bottles that the wellness forever manager should order in each lot okay so now let's write down whatever is given so we know now that there is this pricing schedule that is followed so let's denote each price as p0 p1 this is c2 Okay, now we have the initial quantities for each, right? That we have to record. So Q0 is 0, Q1 that is the minimum quantity to be ordered to avail that particular price. That is Q1 will be 5000. And Q2 is 10,000. All right. We know the unit prices in each case. Here it will be dollar three per unit. In this case, C1 it will be dollar 2.96 per unit. And in case of C2 it will be dollar 2.92 per unit. All right. The other information that is given is the demand. Now note here that nowhere it is explicitly mentioned that we have to calculate for a year. But the usual practice is to calculate EUQ for a year because a month is too short a time to be thinking in terms of multiple lots. Okay. So we know that D is that is your annual demand is 12 into 10,000. That is 1,20,000 units. All right. This is per year. Next, we know the ordering cost is fixed at dollar hundred per order, and the holding cost is twenty percent of unit cost. All right. Okay. So now. What we will do is for each of this price point, we will calculate the EOQ. Okay. So let we let us denote it as Q0 is equal to under root 2ds divided by h into c0, which is 2 into 120,000 into 100 divided by 0.2 into 3 this comes to now 6324 okay likewise when we do it for q1 using the same formula only changing the unit cost we get q1 is 2 into 1 like 20000 into 100 divided by 0.2 into 2.96 we'll get around 6367 units and likewise q2 will be under root 2 into 120,000 into 100 divided by 0.2 into 2.92 that will be 6410 okay now you note over here that this particular quantity does not come in this limit right so we have to ignore this case 
all right now for the second one we see that it comes within the interval right so this is greater than 5000 and less than 9999 so we ignore the case uh, the first case in the second case we consider this q1 star equal to q1 equal to 6367 in the third case you will note that 6410 is less than 10000 so what do we do we fix q2 star as 10000 that is the minimum order quantity that you will have to place to avail the discount of 2.92 or the price of 2.92 dollars per unit okay whether we will order 10000 or not will now depend upon the total cost okay so how do we calculate total cost so total cost tc is ordering cost that is d by q that is the number of orders into s that is the ordering cost plus q by 2 that is the average inventory into cost of holding the inventory plus the cost of material that is d into c we calculate total cost for q1 star and q2 star so tc1 is d by q1 star into s plus q1 star by 2 into h into c1 plus d into c1 okay when we substitute for all these values the final answer that we get will be dollars 3 lakhs 58969 all right we repeat the exercise for tc2 here it will be d by q2 star into s plus q2 star by 2 into h c2 Note here at uh, sorry C one is equal to two point nine six dollars. Here C two is two point nine two dollars per unit. Okay, plus D into C two. This will come to dollars three lakh fifty four five hundred and twenty. Now we will note that. TC two is less than TC one, right? So we go for placing orders with lot size Q two star that is ten thousand units per. lot okay so this is simple enough to understand we have three price slabs we calculate the eoq for each then we check whether that quantity falls within the given limit for that availing that price or not if it does not then we see in which slab it comes whether in the previous slab or the next slab okay if it is in the next slab then you ignore that case because for the next slab anyways you are going to calculate eoq considering the price for that slab if it is coming in the previous slab like it did for q2 in that case you consider the minimum order quantity that needs to be placed to avail that price okay and proceed with those quantities to calculate total cost 
once you have calculated the total case cost using this equation here you compare the total cost and then go with the option which gives you the lower total cost all right okay thank you